So here's how to insert images and video clips into your pages um, where you'll each do your individual entries for your group's exhibit. So first sign into WordPress and make sure you're at the dashboard for the class website which you can go to by hovering over your name in the top right hand corner and then the museum site and clicking dashboard. Now over on the left in the menu you'll see pages and if you click all pages you'll see the ones that you set up as tests or placeholders when we were in the computer lab. So you can start out by going back and just editing one of those with an actual site. And I've got a test page set up, so I'm going to edit that. Um, so first, give your page a title. And again, I'm going to be copying and pasting text from one of my dissertation chapters. And this is the main page, so it has the same text as the post that I did the tutorial for. So here I'm pasting in the text, taking out the tabs, I can preview it if I want to to make sure everything looks okay, that the spacing isn't coming out weird. I have to put my name at the bottom. That's something I noticed when I previewed it, that I forgot my name, so I'll put that in now. And that's pretty much it for this page. So I'm just going to click update. And you can see at the top it says page updated, view page. And if you click view page, it takes you to its layout on the actual site. So now, if I want to add a sub page to this, I've got to go back to the dashboard and back to the sidebar where it says pages, but this time I'm going to click add new. So again, give it a title, this time specific to your individual entry. And here, I'm going to pretend that this is an entry on the film missing. And then I'll give the year it was released and the director's name. And again, I'm going to copy and paste text from Microsoft Word. So I'll right click and select copy, then in WordPress hit control V to paste. And I'm going to check the formatting. I'm going to put my name at the bottom, just like with the first page. and I don't have any changes to make 
for the layout. It looks the way I want. So let's put in a couple images. So in this paragraph, I'm talking about the scene that I took the clip of in the tutorial for making video clips and still images. So I'm going to just paste in the link from eLearning and then select it and click the hyperlink button or the insert edit link button so that it shows up as a clickable link. And you can set it to open in a new tab or window, but that doesn't really matter since this is a file that will be downloaded. And since I don't really want the full text of the link out there junking up the page, I'm going to change it so that the phrase Charles in general Lutz's office is hyperlinked to the file of the video. And that's pretty much it for inserting a link to a video clip. Now I did say if you want to use YouTube you can and I posted the YouTube information to Sakai so you can log into the account for the whole class because I don't want you risking your own YouTube accounts in the face of copyright problems. So now let's put in a couple of images. So again, next to upload insert, click the first button and then select files to browse in your computer and find the images you want to use. I've got mine in a couple different places so I have to actually search for them and you can select more than one file by holding down control and clicking each of them and it'll upload as many files as you want and then to set the preferences for each just click the link that says show next to it and you can change the size set the layout all of that fun stuff so here I've inserted this image and made it medium sized according to WordPress and I've got it centered in between these two paragraphs. And now I've got those images that I upload saved in my gallery so at the top of the add media window you see the link to gallery and if you click that it'll show you everything you have uploaded. So now I'm just going to make sure that I put all three of them in, all three of these images in the post and they're all going to be medium sized, they're all going to be centered You can change it after you're finished by clicking the little image of a picture in the cor left hand corner of each screenshot you've inserted if you want to go back and change the alignment or change the size. And then you can always preview the page to see how it looks. So here are three images that are not centered and I don't really like how that looks and I don't want them all three pasted in the same pa place and you can't just drag the images to move them around in the post 
you have to actually go to where you want it inserted and reinsert it. So if you want to get rid of one, just click the delete image, circle with a slash through it, and then choose another place to insert it. So I deleted two of my stills, but now I'm going to put them back in. So I go back to the add media window and then the gallery and then pick the image I want, center it, insert it. So now I've got the two images in the post. And it's always a good idea to add a caption under the image. So for this one, the caption is just going to be a body floats down the river. And so I'll do the same thing and put in a caption for this image too. And you can change the font for the captions if you want. Uh, I'm just going to leave them the same as the text, but it'll be centered under the image so it stands all apart. And now I want to preview to see what this looks like. So here you have the stills centered around this paragraph with captions. And then below that you have the link to the video clip. And if you click the link, it should prompt you to open the file or download it and save it. And so I'm going to test that. And after it downloads, it should automatically open if you just clicked open file. And I could see that the clip is the one that I wanted, that it uploaded correctly. So everything's set. So I can go back to where I was drafting the page. And let's say that I want to make this image bigger because it's harder to see the detail. Take it out and go back to add media, then the gallery, and I'm going to put it back in at full size instead of medium. So now it's a little larger and I can preview that to see if I like the change. And I'm going to keep it that way, but I've got to fix that spacing between the image and the caption because something went wrong. So now I'll delete one space, go back to preview again, and it's fixed. It looks the same as the image above it. So now I'm ready to publish the page. And before you publish, under page attributes, there's a drop down menu under parent. And this is where you'd pick the title of your group exhibit. So I want this to appear under the sample page instead of just floating around in space or under another group's pages. And now everything's posted. The link's there. The images look right. And that's it.